When navigating EOSTAR, it helps to understand the distinction between records and functions. Records are collections of information that tend to be more constant, like customers, which store addresses, chain assignments, and other information related to the customer. Functions are action items, like creating orders, reconciling inventory, or writing off damaged product. So let's take a look at some records and see what kind of information they hold. The layout of records is very similar throughout EOSTAR. We'll start with a customer record. There are three sections to each record. The search list, the main record area, and the detail panels. To locate the specific customer we're looking for, we'll use the search options to the far left. The search list can be turned on and off using the search checkbox. In the find box, you can type the EOSTAR number for the customer if you know it, or type any part of the name to narrow the list. You do not have to type the name from the beginning. Any part of the name will work. For some records, you will also have an advanced search option that allows you to search on other fields. So if you have a customer who has changed names, you can still look it up by address or phone number. The main panel will always have the record name and number and it will include standard information about the customer, product, or whatever kind of record you're looking at. The panels to the right will contain additional information and will vary depending on the type of record you're reviewing. If there are too many panels to display them all on your screen, you will see a More Options link that will show you the additional panels you can select. All records will have the New, Erase, Post, and Ditto buttons. When adding a record, click New and fill out the necessary information. First, you will have to select a number from the list or enter a number if you have a specific number you would like to assign. You cannot duplicate a number that is already in use, and you can include letters as part of the numbering scheme. Generally, you only need to have the number and name in order to save a new record. In cases where additional information is needed, you will get a message telling you what you missed when you click the Save button. The Erase button is pretty self-explanatory, but note when erasing a record in EOSTAR, they do not get deleted entirely from the system. We store erased records so we can use them for historical data. So in some cases, you will be asked to provide additional information about why you are erasing a record. You can view erased records by checking the Erased Only box in the search panel. When looking at erased records, you will see that the Erase button is now replaced by an Activate button. This can be used to unerase the record if it needs to be put back into use. When creating new records, if you are entering a record that will have much of the same information as another, you can use sticky fields to duplicate that information into your new record. To activate st sticky fields, simply click on the field name and it will turn red. Once you've selected the fields you want to duplicate in your new record, click New and start setting up the new record, and the fields that were marked as sticky will be populated for you. You can deselect them by clicking on those fields again, and they will change back to their original black color. You can also duplicate changes made to one record on another using the Ditto button. All you need to do is make the change on the first record and post those changes. When you go to the next record that you want to make the same changes to, simply click the Ditto button and it will change the fields and post the changes in one click. So now let's take a moment to look at relational records. In the same way we need to define what customers and products are, in many cases we also need to define the components of a record. For example, on the customer record, we can select a chain to associate this customer with. EOSTAR doesn't know which chains you will be working with, so you must create a chain record before you can assign it to the customer. If you go to Records, Customer, 
you will see that there are many options to choose, and most of these are relational records. As you can see, Chains is listed, so we can go there to create a new chain record. The shortcut to this is to right-click on the drop-down arrow for the desired record. 